She opened up the cabinet door, she reached in, and she pulled out that blue box. And when I saw it, it was like, oh. And she put that box down, and she said, come, Lurleen, take your first steps into womanhood. So I rushed on over there. I threw that box open. I stuck my hand in, and I pulled out my very first. <laughs> Then you gotta hold that sanitary napkin because you had to figure out how to put it on. But when you was done and you took your first steps into womanhood, my God, it was a sight to behold. And I knew that all the big milestones in my life would be dictated by the kind of sanitary products I was using. Now, you know, I'm talking about the early 60s for myself. So Chubby Chubby was still singing. It's something was still on Sunday night, and the Beatles had just arrived. <laughs> Now when you see these kind of movies, you know on AMC, or when the mother girl comes, you don't want to have to wonder why women twisted with their legs so far apart. And then time moved on, things changed. I used to see this metal box in the ladies room. So all you needed was a quarter to find out what was in there. And you put that quarter in, you depress that lever, and out rolled this thing. And it was covered in paper, so you didn't know what it was. It was like a Cracker Jack prize. And you peel the paper away, and suddenly you saw that it was two rolled up pieces of cardboard stuffed with cotton and string. And you couldn't figure out what to do because you couldn't ask anybody. So you tried all kinds of things. You tried all kinds of things. But it's always the last place you tried that's golden for you. So there you were, pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing, and when it finally went in, you was ready for a cigarette. <laughs> but as I said, it was the right device for the time. Because times had changed. We'd come out of all those bras and panties and things. We'd come out of those high heels and stockings. We was in platform shoes. We was wearing all kinds of suede and leather things that had all kind of fringe on it. We was wearing these little tiny miniskirts. And every now and then, as we paraded ourselves up and down the street, some stranger would come running up behind us and say, Oh, miss, miss, stop, please. You've got a string hanging. <laughs> and times changed again. McCoy Turner was singing about doing the hustle. Donna Summer was all about love to love you, babies. We going back to what we know. Guys were back in suits, hideous suits, but suits nonetheless. People who had no rhythm at all could be found on the dance floor doing the hustle, and women had been liberated from yet one more shot. By one device called always the ways. So you no longer had to be worried about sorrow. So you could get out on that floor, you could do anything you needed to do, because you knew you wasn't going to have to problem. And there you were, just dancing and moving and moving and having a good old time. And all that moving and moving created heat. And all that heat created sweat. And glue and sweat just a mix. So while you were securing the knowledge that that napkin wasn't really going to go anywhere, it never occurred to you that it might pop in places and start to roll towards your pudenda. And there you'd be, do, 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 when suddenly, <laughs> your eyes 
with water. Because you knew what it felt like when Pudenda met glue. And then time moved on. Things changed. My son came in. He said, Mama, where's all your 45 records? I said, why? You don't like that music. He said, no, I do. I want you to teach me some of them dances you used to do when you was a kid. I said, oh, go on now. He said, no, really, Mama, come on. I said, well, all right. So I went and got my 45 collection. And I played for him a song called The Huckle Now, he didn't know because he never heard of this song. which his class entered in one doing the hub of math. My son, during all of this, wore around his neck that yellow thing that keeps the 45 blue. And I understood that change is inevitable. It's going to happen no matter what you do. You can pull it, you can cut it, you can burn it. It doesn't matter. It happens whether you participate or not.